Hi everyone, welcome to Sea Airspace 2022, just outside Washington DC. We are on the GE booth with uh, George Avizos, Director of Marketing and Business Development. George, good morning, thanks for welcoming us. Good morning, Xavier, it's nice to be here. Can you please t take us on a virtual tour of your booth? Sure, I'd be pleased to. I'd just like to show you this side panel first. It is the future of flight of the F-35 is GE Adapters engine, for our XA100 which offers 25% better efficiency, 10% better thrust, and with lower life cycle costs with our XA100 engines. I'm with GE Aviation more on the ship side, but I'd like to introduce you to some of the things that we're doing on the aviation, the flight side, is we're proud of our F414 engines powering the F18 Super Hornets with over 1,600 engines on uh, 600 uh, aircraft. Also on the center is the P-8 Maritime Patrol craft with our CFM-56 engines, and so a workhorse of the U.S. Navy and FMS on Maritime Patrol. And then also to support our Marine friends in the Navy is the CH-53K heavy lift rotorcraft helicopter. So those are on our aviation side, but also we do power the ship class DDG-51s are the uh, four GELM 2500 gas turbines, the most popular gas turbine in the U.S. Navy inventory. Here is DDG-1000. It's the Navy's first full electric ship with GE power conversions, motors and drives, which is a, uh, a future trend. And then the one that we're very proud of, newest addition, is the Fink and Tiari Frem Constellation class frigate with our FFG 62 gas turbine. So quite a lot of uh, bench strength on uh, engine platforms for Navy ships. What I just described were the platforms that we're on and, but the thing is, is what are you doing for me in the future? So GE here is with seven business entities from GE Marine, Power Conversion, Aviation Systems, GE Research. We're looking at things, what can we do to improve the, uh, the future of uh, the Navy platforms? First is the XA100, which is our advanced three-stream engine, which is undergoing production tests, which the Navy is very interested on, on the F-35C for the aircraft carriers. Also, is the Navy has committed to full electric drive on the DDGX system, or ship, destroyer and that's with power conversion and marine offering systems there and then one of my favorites is on the USS Portland our aviation systems group is providing advanced silicon carbide modules for that laser system and a couple other things here in the bottom is digital the Navy is looking to keep equipment on station longer and with the health monitoring and uh, continuous base maintenance uh, digital systems is bringing uh, that technology on. And lastly is additive. Additive is primarily what can you do to take the problems away from castings and advance uh, materials so that you can optimize designs. Our additive group has uh, designed and qualified equipment is now falling on wings. So our seven business ent uh, entities are very much engaged and looking forward to bring this into the Navy in the future.